a total and complete dip. Now, you see, I would never say these things, at least not in a public address, but someone else would. That was not former President Barack Obama. That was a manipulated video known as a deep fake. It's an older one and relatively well known. His lips move just incorrectly enough to spot the truth. In fact, most famous people have enough video out there to show telltale signs. Take President Trump, for instance. Little motions like how he coordinates his eye blanks with his mouth, um, his uh, head gestures, um, all these things, uh, all these correlations between individual motions are being analyzed and we can determine at, you know, over 90 percent of accuracy that, you know, this is something that is Trump or not. So, Professor Hao Li has been working with media forensics experts to test the limits of detection technology. He believes that new artificial intelligence makes sorting fact from fake a fool's errand. You can use forensics tools, but they will only work to a certain extent. And, you know, in a year or two, I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't possible anymore at all. To demonstrate the AI possibilities, I-24 News reporter Michael Shore visited Professor Lee's lab in Los Angeles. And here you can see the neural network in action, not just copying Shore's face, but his mannerisms, his facial motions, everything that makes him a unique human being. Now you're a mate. Look at that. And then we get a shot of that? These are the Shore brothers. It's also capable of putting other world leaders on Shore's face as he speaks through their lips. It's called puppeteering, and it's forcing us to rethink politics. And the danger is um, not even that people, you know, will find out later that something was fake or not. The problem is, in many cases, um, the, man the damage could have already done. Just months away from major political campaigns in the U.S. and Israel, how will the public react to compromising videos of candidates being the norm? What about deniability when a real video is declared a fake? And as this technology gets better, we're going to see people creating fake videos to try to influence a campaign one way or another, smear a candidate. And that's going to be a, a particular challenge for democracies to respond to. Even before AI, doctored videos can already go viral. Just last month, a video of U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi was slowed down by 25 percent, making her appear drunk. It went viral and forced social media companies to respond. What will the response be when the difference between fake and real is entirely academic?